Hello. It's good to see you. Today, we're going to do part two of our walkthrough of the Antique Mall in Asheboro, North Carolina. I did part one as a whisper. And I had to record a voiceover for this because of the loud music throughout the store and copyright issues. So, there's a lot to look at. There's, there's even more. There's a whole wing that we didn't even get to. If you would like to see that, please let me know. It's hard to see it all because there's just so much. But let's go take a look at the second half of my walkthrough at the Antique Mall in Asheboro. So we're picking up where we left off, and we looked at that cool little sign. Here we have some silver plate. We have this set here with the two cups down here. They need a little bit of polishing, but I bet they'd be pretty. And we have a whole bunch of games over here. And this is just a mishmash of stuff. I love this little rooster, little serving platter. That's so cute. And here, I don't know what that is, but that is the <laughs> coolest looking little thing. I don't know. And we have some puzzles up there and some more books in a beautiful vase. I love that vase. Oh my word, look at all this stuff. This looks like it's mostly Christmas stuff. We have candelabras or little candle holders back there. Glass ornaments up here. We have lots of ornaments in these containers. And, oh, I like the little train. We used to have one like that. My younger son used to be obsessed with trains. So we had lots of trains. He could find a lot of trains with Christmas stuff for some reason. A shiny teddy bear. <laughs> Two of them. And the song Lollipop was on and I was kind of grooving to the song a little bit at this point. <laughs> We have Christmas dishes never used. That's so sad in a way. My grandmother had a really nice set of china that she got when she and my grandfather got married, but she never used it. She never felt like any occasion was special enough, and she passed away having never used it. This is my advice to you. Use your special stuff, because you never know. Get it out and use it. So in here we have records. These are 45s over here, listed alphabetically, like Bruce Springsteen. A little banjo. And some more little instruments back here, ukuleles, and that I believe is a ukulele. I don't, I don't know. I'm not good with stuff like that. We have the whole world in here, look. There's a whole world in this antique mall. <laughs> You can buy an old globe if you like. And we are still in the upstairs portion. We have a bunch of movies, DVDs. And so each one of these little sections is a booth that is rented by an individual. Look at all these dolls. I don't know what kind of dolls the, these are, but they all appear to be a certain type of doll. I don't know. I don't know what they are, but they look like they're all singing or showing off their O face, not really sure. This is a Barbie, the old time romance Barbie. And we have some little boxes and stationery. You can buy some note cards and different types of stationery in this little section. We're back now to this section, the Pyrex. And this, this is interesting stuff, like little kid stuff there. We saw this uh, a little while ago. I love that colorful Pyrex. What else do we have over here? I love this big blue jar. I meant to go back and look at it. I really like it. <laughs> I forgot to look at it. We have carnival glass. This is carnival glass here. Very iridescent, as you can see. Yeah, I like it. And then we have some more glass over here. This is like, I want to say depression glass. And here's more of the uh, Pyrex. These are pretty. I love these little glasses here. So nice. 
Yep, there's that pretty colorful Pyrex over there. And the, the quilts, we looked at those in part one. I wanted to go back over and uh, look at some of the stuff over here. Because, see, we didn't look at any of this. We have a lot of books over here. Tons of books. Um, oh, look at this face. That's metal. That's very interesting. You know, we, if we wanted to look at everything, we would be in there for hours. I was in there for an hour recording, and we didn't look at everything. Let me know in the comments if you want me to go back and look some more. There's some marbles. Look at that jar of marbles. Oh yeah, we can definitely go back if you want. We have some little wreaths and decorations. Yeah, they're open very limited hours. So it's kind of hard for me to get down there, but if you want to see more, let me know. We can definitely do it. I could go on a Saturday or something. We have pins and belts. All kinds of lovely things. Even more quilts. I wanted to go check out the upstairs because I had never been in this part before. This upstairs part. I, that was not open the last time I came here. So all of this is new to me. I've never seen any of this. We have all these little rooms up here. Oh, look over there. There's Richard Petty back there. I got to meet him when I worked at Cone Hospital many years ago. He came in to see his mom. Yeah, and it was wild. I was working in the pharmacy, and then we had a window, and I turned around, and there's Richard Petty just standing there politely waiting to ask where her room was. I about died, and one of the pharmacists I worked with was a huge Richard Petty fan. I said, you've got to come to the window right now. <laughs> he about passed out. I did buy that jar of buttons right there. Yeah, he said, thank you so much for telling me he was here. I couldn't believe it. He didn't ask for an autograph or anything. He just got a chance to see him for a second and tell him where his mom's room was. <laughs> oh, that was crazy. So we have a... A lovely mannequin back there. Sorry, I'll just run in my mouth. We have a bag full of toys. There's we have stuff up on the walls like chairs and whatnot. There's a hay pitchfork back there. An old gas can that would be way better than one you'd buy today because those don't suck. Have you bought one of those new gas cans? Oh, they're awful. That one will give you tetanus for free. Here's a big one. Yeah, because of the new regulations, those new gas cans are terrible. Here we have some horse stuff. Let me see here. Yeah, saddle straps, western saddle straps, $24. A lovely lamp, that's a pretty shade on that lamp. Hand wrought iron, $165. You can find some really interesting stuff. Look at this whole set of china, $225. It's beautiful. I love that pattern. $225 for all this. Oh, it's so delicate, too. Look at it, it's beautiful. Golly, Pete. Somebody probably got that as a wedding present or something. Some more fuel cans, military fuel cans. And we have, here's a sampler that somebody did, a cross-stitch sampler, Marion Buckley. Probably did it in 1976, look at that. Yeah, $24, well she did a good job. That's a way to showcase your talents. Here's a painting, isn't that beautiful? An oil painting. In here, we have some Christmas stuff. Big old snowman. Look at that snowman. And a Santa. What's in this room? We have bicycles back there. Some old bicycles. And storage totes back there. Yeah, some nifty bicycles. See out here? You can come to the window and see the street down below. Yeah, it's just an old storefront. Very nice. A lot of wash tubs and big metal tubs over there. I think that's a Paddington bear in that chair. 
some more insulators. I, I came out of here, I think I got turned around a couple of times. <laughs> Look at this creepy guy. <laughs> and we have gourds that are painted. Those are cool. I like the gourds. We have a little flamingo here ready for Christmas. And some more blankets back there. They have stuff in every nook and cranny up here. It's just stuff everywhere. There's a skeleton on the bicycle. <laughs> some old feed bags. Wayne feeds. Hmm. And some books. I see a radio flower wagon. Yeah, there's that painting. Yeah, that painting is beautiful. I think it was like $195 with the frame and everything. This was a little, this was also a painting. This one was only $22. And what do we have in here? We have a little chest of drawers there. And we have just a bunch of assorted stuff back here. God, there's so much stuff in here. Like we have a big picture down there. We have a bunch of Life magazines. I think they were individually priced. There's a space needle. Yeah, good golly. Look at all the dolls up there. My goodness. Tons of dolls. It's hard to look at everything because there's just so much. It, it, it's overwhelming, truly, just to try to walk through. It's very overwhelming. And having grown up in a very cluttered home, it's kind of hard for me sometimes to be in a very cluttered area like that. I, I don't like it. Here we have... Oh, look at this. These are bed wheels. Those are wooden wheels from a very old bed. I had some furniture from my great great aunt that had wheels like that. The little wooden wheels. I wanted to see how much they were. Um, twenty dollars for all of them, all four. That's not bad at all because they do break. After a while, you have to replace them. There's a cradle. Oh, <laughs> this is the room that had the big kangaroo in it, isn't it? <laughs> Look at this boombox. Oh my God, we have a big boombox. This is a JVC boombox. You could get it for 145 bucks. Comes with a manual and a remote. Jam up. Yeah, oh yeah. I love this giant kangaroo. He was a store display for Alice White. Look at that. He was massive. His arm is a little messed up, but he's a humongous. He was heavy too. A big old store display. For Alice White Wines. It's only $110. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love that. I think that was my favorite thing of the day. Oh, look at these. There's some beautiful furniture in this room. And a Sasquatch back there, too. No, there's some Victorian furniture back here in this corner that is just so lovely. It needs to be reupholstered, but look how beautiful it is. Oh my goodness. This one is a settee for $78. Gorgeous. Yeah, it needs some work though. You could get the chair for $38. $38. Oh, it's so pretty. I love that. There's a green one back there too. So pretty. There's a spinning wheel back there. Look at that. We saw when there are several spinning wheels up there. This one is $135. Nice. There's a very old ironing board. Um, yeah, $45 for the ironing board. I like the trunks. A lot of different wooden boxes and trunks, but I really like the kangaroo. <laughs> That's awesome. We have pictures up here. Some nice little framed prints. Okay, we have some old 
patent medicine stuff and cream polish from O Cedar. Yeah, and some old medicine bottles, fellows syrup, and some mason jars too. There's another spinning wheel and another yarn winder. Everything in here is 25% off. Just, God, it's hard to look at. There's just so much to look at. It's very overwhelming. These pictures are pretty. I do like those. All the fabric is 75% off. And I wonder how much somebody's used drink cup was. I think that's 25% off. This is how they used to address letters back in the day. You just do it like that and it'll get to where it's going. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. We have some jewelry here. There's a bracelet. Some lovely dangle earrings. Yeah, I just bought three things on my trip to the antique mall. A jar of buttons. That's cute. And uh, some paper dolls and a yardstick. That was it. <laughs> It's all about. I love this mantle. Look at that's gorgeous. Solid wood too. That's beautiful. There's a unicycle. I have a unicycle in my storage building my dad gave me. Everything in here is a dollar. Everything in here is one dollar each. We have some plates. A Krispy Kreme donuts paper hat. <laughs> then you can still get a Krispy Kreme. Um plates again. We have some postcards, I believe. Yeah, postcards from Kmart. And more plates. Those are pretty with the little dogwood blossom on it. I like it. A little, was that a fox? I don't know. We have gasket shellac. The cork in the top is broken off. Broken half. I didn't see anything in there I needed. Good. We have a little British dude. <laughs> and an old container of diamond kitchen matches. And lots and lots of books. Tons of books. And then out here we have a nice chest of drawers. And here we have a little bit of everything. There are some clothes in here. That sweater was seven dollars. I think that's a bit much. That's cool. Like a wardrobe. We have a zebra back there. Here's a painting that was done in the 50s. It was done in 1956, I think that says 56. And you can get an easel too, $85. We have some water skis back there, I think. Oh, look at those big shutters back there. They're massive. Big old tall shutters. Here we have, it looks like an English saddle. The tag is all faded though. I could be wrong, but it looks like an English saddle to me. We have a beautiful trunk right there. And a hazard, what is this, a hazardous waste can. Hmm. And look, there's another level, but we can't go up there. God, how many levels are there in this place? Old doors. It just keeps going and going. It's crazy. Here we have some old windows. But I bet it was a pain to get all this stuff up here. You can even buy a display rack for $35. And here's a cool trunk. Huh. Yeah. Then 
we have some more slids. There's like a scythe back there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at that. Is that a press? A cedar mill and press. Dang, but that's heavy. And I kept coming out of there and getting turned around. And there's some old cars, toy cars. There's the mantle again. Yeah, we already went in this room, but it took me a second to realize it. Like the big horse back there. Home is where you bark it. Big old horse. Yeah, Mary, you already been in there. I realized, yeah, oh, we've already been in here. <laughs> There's the little Christmas flamingo again. Oh, look at this. RCA Radiola Project or Parts. $75. RCA Radiola 60 That's cool. So it's, when they put project on stuff, that means it's not working. But it could be your project. If you need a project to work on, you could work on that. <laughs> so we're coming back down then. This is the main floor down here. This is the main part. We didn't look at everything down here. We can go back again if you would like and we can look at some more. It's just hard to see everything because there's just so so much to look at. I love this punch bowl set. It's gorgeous. Look at that bowl. That's beautiful. It says that it's from the 20s. 1920s punch bowl and base. $150. It is gorgeous. And then back here we have a little green elephant. A little ceramic elephant. Or porcelain or something. There's a wheel. Look at that, like a ship's wheel. That is cool. Right? It says right nice. I don't know if that's a brand or a type. I don't know. It says right nice. It is nice. Over here in the case, we have some wheat pennies. You could buy a whole roll of wheat pennies or some brass keys. All kinds of neat little things. God, we paid so much stuff. You can get a taxidermy bass. That's pretty groovy. Not a bad price for that. And up here we have patches. All kinds of patches. There's one from Vietnam. My dad is a Vietnam vet. What else do we have? Here we have an old Fisher Price train. Look at that. It has several cars with it, too. And a caboose. Wow. Oh my gosh, we had these glasses. They came from Hardee's, and a new one would come out every week, and we had all of them. Yes. We had the whole set. I don't know whatever happened to them, but we had all of these. There's Petunia Pig back there. There's Tweety and Sylvester. Foghorn Leghorn about to hit a bomb. Here we have a McDonald's coffee cup. Flintstones. There's Elmer Fudd. Porky Pig. Here he is mowing the yard. We have Pepe Le Pew, Beaky Buzzard, tons of these glasses, man. I don't know whatever happened to ours. I have no idea. Back here, that's a pretty piece of furniture. We have old Wilton cake pans, different types. I had a bunch of those when my kids were little, but I've since gotten rid of all of them. Oh yeah, 
have some interesting stuff in the case. Look at that pot back there. It has a big crack in it. $495. Some old theater seats. <laughs> movie theater seats. 90 bucks for two movie theater seats. Hmm. An old vacuum cleaner back there, too. Look, look. Oh, look. See Jane. Dick and Jane. Here's a lady. This is a beautiful set. Look at this. These came from Pottery Barn. Or no, I'm sorry. Cracker Barrel. This is a Cracker Barrel dinnerware set. It's so festive looking. Look at all the pretty pastels. And we have more kitchen towels. Home is wherever mom is. Oh, isn't that cute? And some pretty framed pictures. There's, I don't know, is that Jesus? I'm not sure. Some religious thing. Yeah, so there is a lot in this place. We have some little, some of those, oh, the little gnomes, Tom Clark gnomes. I have one of those that he did for left-handers. Because I was the only person in my family not left-handed, and one of my kids is left-handed. <laughs> yeah, they're very detailed. And here is an actual box for carnival glass. I've never seen it with the box before. That's pretty cool. Pretty green picture. Hedge darts. Oh my god, lawn darts. Holy moly. These things are $120. Good golly. But they do come with a box. Yeah, definitely can cause severe injury. There's an old rotary phone. And another typewriter. And eight track tapes. Look at that typewriter. And we have an old GE metal fan, for, and it works for 145 bucks. You could cut your finger off. What a deal! That's actually a very cool fan. We have another Fisher Price train, a circus train. And here's a painting of a farmer. That's a big painting. And we have some wooden stuff in here. This is 85 bucks for that painting. And a Coca-Cola clock. I love this. This clock needs some work, but it's really cute. And here we have an old hubcap. <laughs> oh, and down here we have the trunk lid of a Volkswagen Beetle. That's pretty cool. <laughs> it's real. It's only $100. <laughs> so that is a look at the Collector's Antique Mall in Ashboro. It's always got interesting stuff to see. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed getting to see a little bit more of the Collector's Antique Mall in Ashboro. It was really cool. I really, I always enjoy looking through there and I always find some really interesting things. 
and thank you so much for being here. I really hope that you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you again really soon.